Hey, my name is Ashley Josephine, and today I've got three wrist stretches to help you relieve all the pain that you feel in your wrists. This is one of the most common questions that I get after a yoga class from my students, and that is, what do you do to stretch out your wrists? A lot of us sit for long periods of time at computers, typing, some of us are writers or creators and we use our hands a lot, and we don't really pay much attention to stretching out our fingers and our wrists. Inevitably, we'll start to feel pain in those areas, often either on the inside or the outside, and when we start to do our yoga practice, that pain becomes more and more apparent as we start to use our wrists and our hands to help support us in our yoga practice and in our poses. So here are three great stretches. They're easy. You can do them anywhere. You don't even need a yoga mat. Start by bringing your hands out in front of you. Spread your fingers wide and then turn the palms up toward the ceiling. Now take your left hand and cross it over the palm of the right fingers and just start to pull them back toward your elbow. You'll feel the stretch right here in the top of the wrist. If you can, see if you can get the thumb in there as well. And see what it feels like to either keep the fingers together or spread them out. You'll feel the stretch differently both ways. Press the fingers back as much as you can and breathe through the stretch. On your exhale, you can press the fingers back a little bit more. Over time, you'll start to notice an increase in flexibility in the wrists. The fingers will go back further. And then switch sides. Maybe start with a breath count of three, then increase to five. Maybe eventually count the breath ten times before you move to the next hand. And you might notice that one side is more tight than the other. Maybe you can start to notice in your life where you use that hand more. For example, my dominant hand on the right is more tight than my left. All right, so when you're finished breathing, you'll bring your hands out, and this time we're going to reverse the direction. So take your left hand, bring it over the right hand, and pull the fingers in. Now the palms are facing down. Now you're gonna feel the stretch on the top of the wrist maybe even down further into the forearm. It feels really nice. And then switch. If the tension is really intense, make sure that you concentrate and focus on your breathing. And only stay for a few breaths, really ease into these stretches. Most of us don't even stretch our wrists or maybe have never even stretched them before. One, because we don't know how to or what to do, but also we just don't even think about it. Until, of course, the pain comes. All right, so those are two great stretches for your wrists to get the inside and the outside. And again, you can do those anywhere. You could do that sitting at your desk. It's a good idea to incorporate those stretches into your life on a daily basis. Just for three breaths or so, give yourself a nice little break from a project that you're working on. Take a breather. If you want to get down on your hands and knees and get into a little bit more intense stretching, you can do that as well. Maybe do these in the morning or in the evening before you go to bed. You'll stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees, and you'll bring your hands so that your fingers point back towards your knees. Your, the inside of your wrists are pointing away from you. And then from here, you're very slowly going to scoot your butt back towards your heels, but keep the palms on the ground. So you'll notice as I scoot back, the front of my wrists lift up off the mat. The goal is to keep scooting back just to the point before your wrists lift lift up off the mat. You'll feel the stretch along the inner arm and the forearm and especially in on the inside of the wrists. Using a lot of weight and gravity here, pulling the muscles in the inner arms. Again, breathe through the stretch and the tension. Maybe make it more dynamic on your inhale coming out a little bit on your exhale, scooting back again. And over time, you'll notice that you can go back further and further and further. On your inhale, come back up, release your wrists, maybe shake them out a little bit. You'll definitely feel something here. 
And the last thing that you can do on your hands and knees, you can come back to the position we were in before with your shoulders stacked over your wrists, hips over your knees. Now your fingers turn out to either side so that the inside of your wrists are pointing towards each other. And now we'll just lean from side to side. So start by leaning over towards the right and then towards the left. You'll be stretching the opposite inside of the wrists here. And also you'll feel some sensation on the top of the hand as well. So just leaning side to side, the weight's coming over to my left here. I feel a lot of stretch on the inside of the left wrist and in the top hand. And then shift your weight over toward the right. Now, if you don't have a whole lot of flexibility in the wrists when you're first starting out, you might only shift an inch or so. You might not go all the way over. That's okay. Just work up to it over time. Follow your breath. Listen to your body and be compassionate. We'll go one more time each side. And last time. And then come to a seated position. Shake out your wrists again. These have been your wrist stretches to help you relieve any pain that you feel in your wrist. These are great stretches to do throughout your day. Incorporate them into your daily life and you'll never feel pain in your wrists again. Have a great day.